Good afternoon. My name's Penny. We're down to the last few cards in the Whole Woman card deck. So we've talked about a lot of aspects of a whole woman or a fully developed woman. And we're going to choose another one to talk about today. So I'll shuffle the cards first and see what we get. Ooh, one fell out. Okay, this one is the whole woman that loves her body. I nurture my body with nutrition and movement. So this is pretty straightforward, pretty basic, but very, very important. So when we talk about loving our body, and that's absolutely essential for a whole woman, because if we don't love our body, it affects many, many other aspects of our life. So our body carries us through our life and it needs to be nurtured and taken care of and loved. So when we love our body, we carry ourselves in a very different way through the world. And this affects what happens to us, how people respond to us, how magnetic we are in our life, what we attract, and the kind of relationships that we have and jobs we have and everything really. It affects everything. So to nurture our body through our body with nutrition and movement. So a lot of people uh, are not aware, very aware of nutrition. I know a lot of people are as well. Nutrition is something I've grown up knowing about. So our family has been very interested in nutrition. My grandparents, my parents, uh, this has been an ongoing discussion for as long as I can remember. So the trouble with this idea of nutrition is there is a lot of debate, a lot of different opinions. There are many, many books that have been written about nutrition and health, and they can be very different from each other. So although I'm very, very grateful for knowing a lot about nutrition, I've read many, many books myself, but also been privy to all the discussions in our family around the table for years and years. Uh, it also caused some problems for me with food, uh, body image, and a bit of a sort of fixation on health as virtue and nutrition as taking away from the pleasure aspect of food as well. It's something that I haven't been very much in touch with because it was always about trying not to eat. And that's not a very healthy attitude to food and to our body and pleasure and being a human. So I have worked on this a lot over the last few years, trying to heal some of those attitudes towards myself. And I feel very happy with how things are going. But I'm still very focused on nutrition as well, because I think our health is extremely important. and. Honouring our body, respecting our body is incredibly important too. It makes us feel better, but it's also our responsibility, I believe, to take care of our body. It's something we've been given to take care of. And I don't think that we should treat it badly. That's not a higher sort of perspective on life and our body. So my focus now is more on intuitive eating so i would recommend definitely uh intuitive eating because without all other spiritual aspects it's about our intuition it's about tuning in to what we know inside what our body is telling us being more in touch with the way our body feels with certain foods with the amount of food and when we eat and when we don't eat i think the most important thing is to get back to that intuitive way of eating and being in our body. So a baby or a child is born with this. So it's only when we're taught differently, we're taught to use our head and our intellect in regards to food and rather than our innate knowing and the sensations that we're experiencing in our body. So if we can keep practicing that, that's what I'm doing. I'm much more aware of my body now and how it feels and even just my intuition in my sort of, you know, the sensing, um, knowing what I feel like eating or what would be best for my body, uh, trying not to use the intellect too much. 
So, but also having that knowledge, I do think that's important. Knowledge is power, so it doesn't hurt to know about nutrients and what foods contain. But on an individual basis, foods respond to our bodies in different ways. It's very individual, very different. It can't be found in a book. So because somebody else has a diet that supports their well-being at this moment of time, it doesn't mean that this is right for you because our bodies change constantly. They're constantly renewing themselves. They're constantly having different needs. We have female bodies and male bodies and they can be very different in the way they use food and nutrients and also the exercise and movement that we do. So different bodies respond really well to different types of movement. Some people respond really well to very vigorous exercise, uh, regular uh, intense exercise, and some people don't respond well to that. And I think uh, female bodies uh, tend to respond well to more gentle movement sometimes, not such harsh, vigorous exercise that can really deplete us nutritionally. So we just need to be aware of that with the same with food, with exercise. So using our intuition, tuning into how our body's feeling on each particular day. Does it feel like it wants to have vigorous exercise or does it feel like it wants a rest or a gentle walk or a gentle swim or just whatever, whatever feels good. Dance is amazing for women for embodiment and tuning into that feminine energy. So if we can combine our movement with creativity and self-expression, it has multiple benefits for us as well. But it's not just about being a certain way or looking a certain way in our body, but it's about expressing ourselves and becoming in touch with our body and confident in our body as well. So, the whole woman loves her body. I nurture my body with nutrition and movement.